Hi guys, it's Megha Watmandy and I'm at Hampsterley today. Uh, Hampsterley is near uh, Bishop Auckland or Durham, up in the north somewhere. Um, I'm here on my own again. Um, I was in Glentress in Scotland yesterday, so for those of you that have seen that video, um, I'm now in Hampsterley. The weather is gorgeous. Um, it's my third time here. Uh, first time here, I didn't like it at all. Second time here was last year, really, really enjoyed it. So hopefully I'm going to enjoy it again today. Um, but I am on my own. I'm a long way from home, so I will be taking it easy. But hopefully we'll have a good day and you all enjoy the video. So here we are at Hampsterley at the start of the red and the blue trails. The uh, red and blue trail uh, go through this um, kind of forest path. They share the trail um, until it splits. It's a rather unusual trail here because the blue, I don't think, has any single track. I think it's all this kind of forest road. And the red um, is only single track for the descent, as far as I recall. There might, oh yeah, I think there is actually a, a bit of rocky climbing at some point. But essentially, most of the climb is up fire road. It's a really beautiful forest though. Some of the views are amazing. Um, and whilst this is an actual single track, this climb is actually quite pretty through the trees. such a beautiful day. You can hear all the birds singing, the sun shining, the sun's coming through the trees. So we're on the red climb now, the trail is split. It gets quite steep and rocky. And actually it heads up to Danny Hart's bike park, which obviously is a, well, a bike park. Um, lots of downhill trails, probably too much for me. Uh, we'll probably ride past it. I think we do ride past some of it in a minute. So you can see one of the bike park trails just in front here. Um, and then it goes off to the right down there. They've kind of crisscrossed this climb I've been doing. Um, it's very quiet, I haven't seen anybody else here today. But then it is a Wednesday. Um, I'm going to continue on the red. There's another crossing there, and there's another one in front here. I think these trails are way beyond me. Not something I'm even considering, not even on my radar. on a fire road climb, sort of climb. So actually it's been a bit of a descent and then a bit more climbing. Um, but as I keep saying, it's a really beautiful day. The scenery is lovely, the trees look lovely, the sky looks nice. Uh, so it's a really nice to be riding through the forest. Now, we're coming up to the first bit of single track here. And I undenied over whether to do this again or not because I really, really didn't like it. The first time I did this, really didn't like it. Um, it's just rocks. It's really rocky single track. Didn't like it at all. I think last time I came through here, I said to myself I wouldn't bother again, but here I am. So let's see how I get on. Um, I don't suppose I'll enjoy it much more than I did last time. But let's... Give it a go.
Ah, I've got to get over this stream. I remember this. Right. Let's see if I can get over it without falling in or getting my feet wet. Good job it's got stepping stones. Oh, that one's moving. Oh, it's very wet here. Let's have a look at that. A little stream. I wouldn't want to try and attempt to ride over that. I'm a numpty. I'd almost certainly slip and fall in or fall off. Well, that section wasn't actually as bad as I remembered it, so that was fine. Oh, I do remember there are some really good views around here, though. I think it's around here. Look at that. I don't suppose you'll get the full effect on the GoPro, but that is quite stunning. on the edge here. I mean you're not thank god because I don't like being on the edge but wow so it looks like here we've joined back up with the blue trail again. See the blue and red signs there. So I guess we're going to be on fire road now for a bit. But in fact, I, did, I know we're going to be on fire road now until we get to the red descent. So on our right, I think that's the blue return. Um, blue, as I said earlier, is all down fire roads. Um, and we're going to keep going on the red here, um, which again continues on fire roads uh, until we get to the, the descent. we might have some nice views coming up. This funny little rocky climb, which I do remember actually now. Oh, last time, I think I did exactly the same thing. Lost my back wheel. Let's see if I can make it up here this time. I bet I can't. the view and now I probably won't be to get started again to get up the rest of this hill let's see how we go start of the single track descent and we've done over eight and a half miles most of it on fire road Pulte's last blast I think I'm not sure I've ever done that rock actually, so I'm going to leave it for today. I'm sure it's scarier, no, I'm sure it looks scarier than it actually is.
there is no way you get me going through those rock things. That's just asking for trouble. This one's all right though. I think this is the only time I've ever been up here when there's not been anyone else around. So here we are, at the top. Right. Heading on in. I found this section utterly, utterly terrifying the first time I did it. Really scary, but it's all fine. It looks very intimidating in places, but I actually quite enjoy it now. This bit in particular absolutely freaked me out the first time I rode it. Oh, it's quite steep. Well, you need to ride twice. First time to work out where your line is and which features you can and can't do and the second time just to ride it. And then you've got this lovely bit of flow afterwards. First time I came here, my friend Amanda, who was riding with me, was ahead of me. We got to the bottom of that bit of trail and she said to me, oh wow, but you really enjoyed that, didn't you? And I was like, no, I hated it. I was scared of it, scared of the rocks and the steepness of it. Um, came back last year, rode it twice, really liked it. So now I know what to expect. Really like that bit of trail. It's good fun. Just need to get faster on it and improve my drop techniques so I can go off the bigger ones. Right, into accelerator. Another bit of fun flowy trail. This bit's called. And this is where the rock garden is that I don't like. Well, there are two of them actually. So 
there's a rock garden, tight corner rock garden. And then there are some raised rocks. I don't like either of them. I should go up that bit one day, there's nothing to it. Always avoid it. I don't like the rocky corner. If I rode through here, I'd end up going into that tree. I wouldn't make the corner because I'm useless at corners. Oh, I just swallowed the bug. I'm not vegan or vegetarian, swallowing all the bugs. And here we come to the next rock garden I don't like. And I don't like this one because it's narrow. See, it's narrow. And if I wanted to get off, I'd struggle to put my feet down without going off the side of the edge here. Because it's really quite narrow through here and I'd be stuck balance biking my way along it. Once it widens out, it's okay. I just don't like the narrow bits. So there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's just because it's narrow. I'd be fine with it if it wasn't so narrow. If I felt comfortable putting my feet down either side and I knew I'd got somewhere to go, I'd probably ride that without thinking about it. the red. I've done that descent twice now. Twice today anyway. Um, and that's the Hanstonly Red descent. There is there is another section of trail. Um, you have to climb back up to Danny Hart's bike park and then keep going up another very steep rocky fire road. Um, it's part of the black trail, although on the map it sort of says black, black, red. And I did do it by accident with Amanda once and we found it quite hard and didn't really like it. So I've avoided it ever since. And I contemplated doing it today, but no, I've enjoyed what I've ridden. I want to end having enjoyed it rather than getting stuck somewhere and not liking it. Um, and I'm sure I'll come back here again and maybe give that a go another time. But uh, for now, I've had a really good day. It's been fun. Let's head back for some coffee and cake. And here we are back at the centre, approaching the cafe and the car park. And that was a really good ride, I enjoyed that. So that was Hamsterley. Um, you may notice that I'm not actually at Hamsterley and I'm not in my van. Um, I'm actually in a Premier Inn and that is because I forgot to do this outro at the end of the ride and I only realised when I started to look through the footage I'd uploaded. So here I am. Um, Hamsterley was great, really, really enjoyed the ride today. 
weather was perfect, uh, there was hardly anybody about, hardly saw a soul on the trails, really enjoyed the trails today and just had a really, really good time. It's funny how I can ride a trail once and hate it um, and then come back and ride it a second time and really love it. And today, my third time there, really loved it there again. Um, I didn't do the full red. Uh, I did miss out um, the second loop. Uh, the red trail actually goes in kind of a figure of eight. So where I finish the trail, you then need to ride back up through Danny Hart's uh, bike park up that rocky um, climb and then there's a sort of second um, loop back down. Um, it's marked red black on the trail map. I have done it before, didn't like it much when I did it then um, and uh, armed and about doing it but essentially went back to do the bits that I enjoyed. Um, next time I come I will definitely do that bit again um, and once I've ridden it a second time who knows I might love that bit as well um, but for today really enjoyed what I rode definitely will be back um, really liked Hamsterley so yeah it's been a really good day hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon because tomorrow I'm at Dalby and there will be a video of that as well so like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon